important for us to, to, to develop our watchmaking expertise, you know, as we have done it in other métiers of the group, in silk, in, in leather. Uh, we try to progressively master the know-how and, and have a better control over the different techniques in order to offer the best quality possible. This is the philosophy of the house. You know that in 2006, for example, we took a stake in a Vaucher Manufacture, which is a high-end uh, manufacturer of, uh, of mechanical movements, of uh, haute horlogerie. We took a 25% stake in this company. That was uh, a, a big uh, step towards uh, developing our expertise in mechanical movements. More recently, uh, it was important uh, for us also to secure our uh, supply in uh, some strategic components. Case, cases last year with José Ferrar, in which we took a 32% stake. And uh, more recently, uh, last week, uh, we engaged in uh, exclusive negotiation with uh, a dial manufacturer in La chaux de uh, called Natebert which is a historical uh, partner of uh, Hermes and uh, in order to acquire 100% of this company. This house is extremely creative as you know and uh, we also wanted in the watch category to show that we can be a little bit disruptive, that we can bring something new to the industry, we can express our philosophy of time in a new way and uh, try to do unconventional complications which we did with time suspended last year. But we will continue in, in this uh, vein and we will try to surprise, to do the unexpected, to provide our clients with uh, dreams. Yes, the stained glass is called in French plique à jour. It's really a uh, wonderful technique where uh, you apply an amour uh, in a way on a plate where when you take off the plate when the enamel is, is uh, ready, it looks like uh, uh, st uh, stained glass really. And uh, the light comes through, uh, we put it on the cover of a pocket watch so you can see the movement through it. And when you open the, the cover, lights come through and it, it's like a cathedral. We use straw to apply it on the, the dial, like it was done in the 30s or 20s with furniture. It was really a technique used a lot for furniture, but it was never uh, used in, in a miniature way on the dial, and uh, it was quite, quite a challenge to do that. And we have used uh, the, the design of uh, ties, you know, chevron, uh, and in different colors, the blue especially is quite wonderful because you see the, the, the depth of, of the design, the lights is playing, playing on the chevron and uh, it's, it's a very beautiful technique, so we are very pleased to have it today. Very precious. There the brief was to create a very precious collection, very exquisite, with a lot of details on the dial, uh, diamond setting is uh, traditional, you know, by hand. Uh, a lot of guilloché, nice, delicate guilloché. So a lot of details that makes uh, the product very precious uh, for ladies. In a, in a case which is a 34 millimeter, which I think for the modern woman is, is, is quite the right size today. And uh, very beautiful alligator straps. We decided to go with small scales. So. It's even more feminine, more, more uh, delicate. It was quite a challenge for the designer because we wanted to keep the spirit of the original dressage, uh, which is you know, uh, this cushion shape, which is quite original, with this special way to attach the case to the strap. And also uh, the, the, the numbers on the dial that were in, in this circle. Uh, so, we kept this part of the identity, and, but we wanted to make the case much more, or the watch itself, much more contemporary. Uh, we wanted to make it uh, more masculine. We wanted to make it stronger, make a strong statement. And so um, many small details were changed in order to achieve this, this, uh, new, uh, the, the, these new objectives. A larger strap, 
a larger opening, a slight, a slightly wider bezel, a, a new crown, a completely new dial with guilloche in the center, with applied indexes, so everything is in the details. We added, in fact, in the redesign, a slight curve to the case, so it's even more ergonomic and more comfortable. Being comfortable is a, is a very important uh, aspect of uh, Hermes objects. We like them to be useful and we like them to be very comfortable and uh, easy to wear. You are very right that uh, this case, also it looks, uh, although it looks very simple, uh, it's quite complicated to, to, to do. Uh, you have, as you say, different facets some are polished, some are, uh, you know, um, satin finish. Uh, you have to make sure you respect the original design in the polishing, that you, you don't change the design. Uh, so for this, you, you need the expertise in product development, technical development, and, and the craftsmanship, because a lot of the finish, again, is uh, made by hand. The family has always had a passion for watches. You know, for a hundred years we make watches, which is not always known, but uh, uh, there is a long heritage in watchmaking in this company because the family uh, is very inventive and has always been uh, you know, passionate about watchmaking. And so the potential is there. Uh, we are just at the beginning. Uh, there is a big ambition for watches at Hermes, big ambition uh, to progressively uh, master the watchmaking expertise, know-how. We know it's not happening overnight, but at Hermes we take our time, as you know. And uh, we want to make um, this métier, as we say, uh, as prestigious, and as important as uh, other uh, flagship métier we have. It's necessary because uh, you develop, uh, you know, uh, special relationship with the object and uh, it's an object you know because it's the uh, highest quality uh, will last you know uh, I think Emile Hermès said uh, you know, Hermès object is an object you can repair uh, this is luxury because you can repair it because it's made up with the uh, best materials it's made with the best craftsmen and uh, you can pass it to the next generation, it will stay with you all your life, it will be a part of you. In fact, I think Pierre Alexis meant that, it's, it becomes a part of you and uh, you become very emotionally attached to it. That's how it's so necessary to enjoy life.